Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. Today we continue in Luke, exploring who Jesus is. This devotional is entitled Sing of what the Lord has done. We're going to continue looking at Mary's song from Luke chapter 1 verses 50 to 56. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones. But he has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. Luke 1, 50 to 56. In summary, let's learn to recall what God has done in the past as inspiration for worship. Let's learn to recall what God has done in the past as inspiration for worship. We see in verses 51 to 55, Mary worshipping and how worship is built as on, on a rehearsal of what God has done in the past. She, uh, she repeats his fra phrases like, he has, he has, he has performed, he has scattered, he has brought down, he has lifted up, he has filled the hungry, he has sent the rich away, he has helped his servant Israel. Mary's song is built upon a lifetime of practice. As with Mary, the, the Holy Spirit uses what we have allowed him to fill our minds with. Those who practice study and prayer will have more stores from which the Holy Spirit can draw out worship, prayer, counsel, helping unbelievers. As we invest in ourselves, the Holy Spirit can use these things. Jesus speaks of this. He, he says, the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings out good things out of the good stored up in him and the evil man or woman brings evil out of the evil stored up in him. That's Matthew 12, 34 to 35. You see here, Mary's got a lot of great stuff stored up in her that the Holy Spirit can draw out. She's being inspired by Hannah's prayer in the Old Testament, clearly. Like Mary, our mouths will speak of what our hearts and minds are full of. A good person speaks of good things which, which he or she has purposely stored up in themselves. What we choose to store up in our minds reveals if we are truly Christians, or certainly the condition of our faith. A Christian, or a healthy Christian, loves God's truth. Our ability to encourage and inspire others through what we can bring out of our stores reveals if we have taken seriously our call to be disciples and to be devoted to his word and prayer and study and those kind of things, doesn't it? Mary's got so much in her that she brings out now in this song. So in response, let's learn to recall what God has done in the past as inspiration for worship. 
Let's invest in our hearts and minds so as to be able to praise God and pray and help others through what the Holy Spirit can draw out of us. A simple practice to build this, and it's something we do each day, build row on row on row, like rows of, rows of bricks. We've got to build up slowly our stores, and we do this a simple way is by reading the Bible each day and then just choosing a section from our reading and praying and worshipping out of it. And over time, we'll have more and more stores from which to draw on, to sing praise to God and help others. God bless you. Thank you.